Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the new Sinister Labs. And if you've been around for a while, you might remember the other labs, uh, Modox Labs. This is about the same thing. So the first thing that I noticed when I came in here was there was a gate, a mutant gate. Didn't know that. I have not watched anyone do these labs uh, before I dived in here. So I'm like, okay, well, there's two paths. One is not gated, so I'm going to go ahead and do that path first. Then when I come back in, I'll switch out and bring in a mutant. Okay, so you'll notice that the nodes on these fights, and these are random defenders, so when you go in here, you may face a completely different set of defenders. Uh, but each of these nodes has a set of random buffs and you saw me go through those buffs earlier and you can actually re-roll those with these tokens that they gave you and that you earn from completing these different paths in this uh, lab. So I decided to bring in Ghost and her supporting team. And as you saw, Ghost tore up X-23. Now, the reason that I brought in Ghost is because out of all of my champions, she is the most versatile. So when I don't know what I'm facing, I think of bringing in Ghost because she can handle so many different uh, situations and nodes. So those nodes there, I'm like, well, that's not gonna cause me any trouble. Ghost can handle that as well. And as long as Ghost can handle whatever combination of nodes, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, stick with it and not re-roll. Now you saw me mess up there, it happens. Not the best ghost player, but I'm better than I was when I started, I'll tell you that. All right, so as you saw there, I was able to phase and fire off my unblockable special two thanks to Wasp Synergy. Uh, I don't always get a chance to bring in Wasp. If I try to bring Ghost in for war, I usually don't have room to bring in Wasp, and I just don't wanna fully commit uh, to ghost only. All right, so another defender fell to ghost. All right, so next up we've got Thor Jane Foster, and you can see the nodes here, power reserve, great, you know, but nothing there uh, looked like it was gonna give ghost any kind of problems. But just in case, I went ahead and used a few level three revives, and the reason I used three instead of the two and the one, uh, which I will do later, is because the level threes are easy to farm. And a lot of times when I'm testing out some champions, I go through Realm of Legends, so I pick up those level threes uh, pretty often. All right, so doing the standard ghost dance, phase intercept, phase intercept here. And right there, you know, I got the timing off a little bit, so I hit into her block, which meant I wasn't gonna be able to phase right away. But as you can see there, not a problem for Ghost. She's just finishing these fights. Uh, and I want to make sure that I phase and fire my special two off at about the same time so that I can get all three crits. All right. And most of these champions in here are not going to be able to handle three crits from Ghost. Now, this lab is pretty difficult. I'm doing the epic difficulty. It is pretty difficult. Uh, so, you know, if you're going through here and you don't have Ghost uh, to make it look easy, uh, don't feel bad. This is a pretty difficult lab, all right? And here we go. That brawl, man. I mean, was it brawl? I can't remember if it was brawl or aspect. Um, but ooh, right there, I thought I was gonna get wrecked right there, but he did not follow up but I thought for sure I was gonna get wrecked. All right, but we're doing all right here. Yeah, I, th I think that's Brawl. Um, I didn't look and, and see uh, what it was, and I did this a, a while ago, um, yesterday in fact. Um, but in any case, that Unstoppable that he keeps getting is annoying. And I timed that one on purpose so that as soon as I got done with the first one, I'd be able to hit him with the second one as well, second part of the heavy. All right, but this one, you have to get the timing so that you can attack in between 
the Unstoppables, which makes it a little bit more challenging, uh, especially if you're used to a particular tempo with Ghost. You know, you're used to doing just phase, intercept, phase, intercept. Now you have to worry about that. All right, so now we got to deal with Bane, and that Plague Mine can be very annoying. Uh, but I'm used to Bane. Uh, if you're trying epic difficulty here, I would guess that you are familiar with Bane as well. If you're not, you might want to think about doing a lesser difficulty. Uh, but anyway, uh, Bane is not too much of a problem. You know, it's just that timer, a debuff. Uh, as soon as he's about to, uh, or about to expire, the Bane is about to expire, you know if he has a special, he's going to fire the special off so that you can attack him, so that Bane is ticking away at you, eating away your, your health. That's just how it goes. Uh, if you can, you want to bait out a special before the Bane timer is about to expire on him, and then wait until Bane actually transfers onto you. And if possible, you want to be hitting them while Bane is transferring. So it's about to expire, that's when you want to attack, hit your uh, combo, it'll transfer, and then transfer right back over to him before you finish your combo. That is what you would consider a perfect Bane transfer. All right, uh, but as you saw, we didn't have too much problem. And here's our final one. It is a Black Bolt and no problems here. Uh, Black Bolt is pretty easy and the nodes did not look difficult. Uh, and when I say not difficult, I mean Ghost could handle it all right so this unblockable is normally a problem for me i always hate that unblockable finale but with ghost i don't care i'm not really getting hit if i'm doing it right all right so that is the first path 100 percent all right now we have the second path and you'll see that i went in with the same team except for corvus I had Corvus in the first one, uh, AQ was down, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna be facing, so I said, let me bring Corvus in just as backup. But I saw that Ghost is probably gonna be able to handle it, and if she can't, I'll re-roll until I get a set that can. So I brought in Archangel. People forget about Archangel, but Archangel is still a beast. So he is the perfect person to bring in, as long as you're not gonna be facing uh, a lot of opponents that are bleed and or poison immune. So this first opponent, he's poison, well not poison immune, but he converts poison. So you're not gonna do a lot of damage to him. Now Archangel can get a neurotoxin on Red Hulk. That's why I said what I said, he's not poison immune. If he was poison immune, he wouldn't even get a poison debuff but he gets the poison debuff because he converts the poison. So Archangel, if the RNG is just right, will put a poison and then convert. If he already has a bleed, because he's not bleed immune, so he's bleeding, you get a poison, and then instantly a neurotoxin. I was very surprised when I saw a neurotoxin on Red Hulk for the first time, because I thought he was poison immune. And I read up on him and saw that he was not poison immune, and that's why. All right, so finally, I get a chance to bring in Archangel. Hawkeye, he can be bled and poisoned, so as you can see, Archangel is just tearing him up. So, I've always liked Archangel. Archangel was my first rank four. I took him up to rank four unawakened. And a lot of people feel that Archangel needs to be awakened. I disagree. Uh, Archangel is a beast unawakened if you know what you're doing you know you don't have the neurotoxin uh shutdown of abilities so for example with uh magic unawakened he's not going to stop her limbo but with the uh poisons each poison reduces healing by 30 percent. so she'll do a limbo but she's not going to heal if you have three stacks of poison on her so not perfect but a good counter for magic still, you know? Uh, but anyway, so you saw the nodes here, life transfer, beautiful. Love me some life transfer. And again, I'm facing an opponent 
that can be bled and poisoned. You can see I already have a few neurotoxins. And there we go. Now, I didn't rush in there because I saw that it was about to expire and I've had bad experiences trying to rush the timer. Okay, so I just went ahead and let it expire, played it safe, and down he goes. No difficulty so far. But again, this is a difficult uh, lab, but if you have, you know, strong champions, I suggest you bring them in for this lab. Do not underestimate the difficulty of this lab. Uh, I didn't go in here the first time until I had my Corvus free from uh, Alliance Quest because I was taking this seriously. And again, you have the chance to re-roll. So you saw, I looked at the, uh, you know, buffs and everything, and I'm like, okay, I think I can handle this with Ghost. Uh, and she is poison immune, so not the best matchup for Archangel. So here we go with uh, Captain Marvel here. Nothing too special except for that brawl. Uh, you remember me talking about that earlier? It's just a, a timing thing. You just have to keep track. Here it goes again. Just keep track so that you're not attacking right when that unstoppable hits. And as you see there, got wrecked. And then I got mad and that's why I fired off that special two like that. And I phased perfectly, no recoil damage. You see there, I'm taking little kicks at her. <laughs> yeah, I was not happy. All right, um, but that was my fault completely. Uh, I can say this, so far in the labs, any mistakes have been on my part. It has not been the game, you know, because I'll call the game out. If I swipe and it does not move, I'm going to call it out. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to be facing a Quake, and she can be very annoying to fight. I don't think people... Uh, really understand now she can be bled and poison and I'm looking here at these nodes and that's why I re-rolled uh, Go back and look at the nodes. She can be bled and poison. So it would be perfect for Archangel Except for those nodes and I'm like, okay, no So this next roll, okay, she does have cornered, but I know how to play around that It'll make the fight go a little bit longer But I'm hoping that once I get some neurotoxins on her on her We'll be all right. All right, so we're playing it slow. We've got that unstoppable to deal with here. Very annoying, but every time she hits me, as you can see, uh, I was doing uh, poison to her. And then I started taking some damage, and I was like, oh, boy, what's going on? Uh, but we're still in it. She's got me in the corner here. And so now I'm like, okay, I got to get out of the corner. There we go with the stun. Archangel, neurotoxins for the win. And so I basically uh, fired those off just to get away from her, you know, get some distance. And now I'm down to 11% and she just goes unblockable. Now that's the node. Uh, if you go back, uh, you'll see why she went unblockable there. But I had forgotten. And so when I'm fighting, I'm just like, okay, and then suddenly she was unblockable. But it's that aspect of war. Read that, and you'll see why she went unblockable. You want to finish those kinds of fights as quickly as you can. All right, so I decided to just go ahead and use up these potions. They're in my overflow, and they're going to expire. Uh, and since I've already used a few of the level 3 potions, I said, let me just go ahead and uh, do a little housekeeping. Uh, but I didn't think she was going to need to be back up to full because the one thing about Ghost is even when, you know, I, I have no block proficiency, if you're playing Ghost correctly, you're not taking blocked hits. So I didn't think that it was going to be a problem, but just in case, you never know. All right, so here we go. Just trying to get her to attack me properly. She wouldn't, so I just said, all right, fine. Parried and, and hit her. So down goes Quake. Like I said, she can be annoying, depending on the nodes uh, that you're having to deal with. All right, so now we're fighting another Captain Marvel. 
And as you see there, nothing is a problem. Even that 200% power gain, because if you do the back, the um, phase intercept, you're doing so much damage that you're not gonna have to worry about it. Watch this, just look at the damage. Okay, she's got one bar, so what? Look at her health. <laughs> just look at this. There's, there's just no way. So yeah, I might have to bait out one, and that's about it. And she's gonna be gone in a minute. Look at this. I'm just waiting, just doing the phase intercept. She fired that off because she knew she would not be able to fire it if she didn't. All right, so that is Sinister's Labs. Hopefully this helps you guys out when you run yours. Uh, take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.